Joe, what is your poem about? Um, my poem's about something very important to me. Um, it's about how come it's OK to name you Willy, <laughs> but it's not OK to name the fellas Willy next to you at the U Rhinos. <laughs> So my poem's called Hanging About in a Train Station Toilet Naming People's Penises. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, commuter, <laughs> on your way to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call yours Captain Birdseye. Because it looks like it's wearing a polar neck and winking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're welcome. I just named your penis. Hello, train driver who just <laughs> nipped in for a piss. I'm going to call yours Mrs. Fernsby. <laughs> my, old <laughs> my old geography teacher. <laughs> because you're small and wrinkly and have a birthmark down the side of your shaft. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I just named your <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, please. <laughs> Hello, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, police officer. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Hello, police officer, who's just been sent to the toilets because they've had reports of someone naming people. <laughs> 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 you can't arrest me for naming strangers <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, great. Now I'm electronically tagged again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Get this potato into the golf hole. You may not touch the red, green. You may not touch the red, green. I get one shot at this. No. OK. Oh, but if I throw it, I can't go on it, right? Ah, oh, that's clever. So it's like a one... Oh, man, oh, man, you're kidding me. Fastest wins, your time starts now. Oh, we're off. <laughs> uh, what, what about if I can't... If I don't get it... There we go. <laughs> 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 you think that would happen, would you? 14.3 seconds. That's all. That's all. Great, is that me? <laughs> well done, Joe. Really emotional. <laughs> I think that's the best thing I've ever done. It's a good shot. Cheers. I was going to pop that in there. Job done. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, cheers. Well done, Joe. No oh, worries. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah. Bye, right, Joe. Cheers. I don't know how you feel, Catherine, but it made me like sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. How, I mean, talking through it, how were you feeling? Instincts. <laughs> Got laser-like yeah, accuracy. Just, and then I thought, peace, peace. <laughs> <laughs> what did, I, did it another 17 times after that. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked was what you said to Alex. I don't know if you heard that, but you went, uh, yeah, you didn't think that was going to happen, did you? <laughs> <laughs> like you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. It's so incredible. I personally, I'd love to see it again. You want to see it again? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here it is again. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's joyous. <laughs> oh. 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 Guys.
it's, sometimes it's hard to be uh. the taskmaster. <laughs> sometimes you've got to crush dreams. That's oh. the most exciting bit of sport oh, I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Shut up, mate. It's not, it's not like you're going back to an empty house. <laughs> Please don't take it away from me. <laughs> please. Oh. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God, I've got a real sense of power then for a second. <laughs> oh. you know, do you know, Joe, it's all it's awful because clearly you've got you've got an awful home life. We've established that already. <laughs> Just as speaking as a fellow competitor, yeah. I thought it was an incredible achievement. All right, and well, if listen. I, and if I'd done what he had done, I, yeah. would, I, I would have wanted the five points. That's my view, so yeah, I'd be well, happy to cede it to, uh, to, uh, to Joe. But, you know, it's, your, it's up to it's you. Really it's really strange, though, isn't it? And that's a really impassioned and eloquent argument, but it makes me more inclined to take <laughs> it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and it's unprecedented, and don't think that we're going to do this for the rest of the series, because we're not. It's a one-off. I'm going to allow your fellow competitors to decide. Oh, dear me. Good luck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we should send Joe out of the room and take a vote. Yeah, you should go. Off yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was... <laughs> Four of you there, you've got one vote, so I guess uh, raise your hand if you'd like uh, Joe to win, despite the... Yeah, Joe! Oh, <laughs> So you don't think Joe should get it? No. I think if you really <laughs> analyse the slow-mo, <laughs> uh, those couple of centimetres that he gains over the red, were you to take them away and it be a clean shot, that potato would have been all rim and bounced out. <laughs> I mean, even that was lyrical, wasn't it? <laughs> Potato would have been all, all rim, rim and bounced out. <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that, those centimetres were a crucial advantage. Do you want to bring him back in and uh, deliver your verdict? Yeah, yeah. Go he on. can come back have in, but he verdict? can't step on the red. <laughs> Joe, yep. I gave your fellow contestants the opportunity to save you and they were unable to conclusively do that. <laughs> Therefore, on this occasion, I'm going to have to say that your uh, attempt was uh, null and void, I apologise. Oh. 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 Right? That is harsh, that's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> could give people one piece of advice, what would that be? Cool. What, for my life? <laughs> <laughs> You've stumped me, Jimmy. Um, I'd, so I'd have to say never... never tell a bride with a bit of dog shit on her dress to chillax. <laughs> <laughs> they get annoyed, that's all I'm saying, they get annoyed. Especially yeah. when they find out it was you that threw it at her. <laughs> We would run out of confetti. I had to improvise. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'll put it down to the stress of not being invited. It doesn't look like we're anywhere near a museum. It's just in here. It's uh, the Museum of Beans. Beans? Beans. You like beans? So I thought we'll come to the Mecca of beans. You'd think there'd be more fanfare on the outside, but... Well, it's sort of like a bean colour. Do you need some help, Joe? Nope. Maybe there's you know, a button. It, fa famously, it's a bugger to open. Yeah. Oh. We'll get ready to bow. Behind this unassuming exterior is the Baked Bean Museum of Excellence and home to its curator, Captain Beanie, a.k.a. Barry Kirk. Hello. Hello, Hello there. What's the password, please? Alabama. Mm. Hot dog. Baked beans, perhaps? <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Hello. I'd like to invite you all. Right? You're the same you. colour as your hallway. <laughs> well done if you spotted he has baked bean eyebrows. What? Oh, Check it out. Come on in. Make your way down the left hand side. Thank and you. Left. Thank you. There we are. It's really Ooh. orange. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, this is the best this room. There's more. Oh my goodness, Joe. Oh, it looks like there was some type of bean explosion over there. 
look how far it's gone. Something happened here. Something exploded yeah. here. It's on the ceiling. What would you say happened here forensically? I'd Sydney? say there was a guy stood here like this, and he's <laughs> been forced to have a lot of beams. And someone <laughs> ran in and went like that. <laughs> and <laughs> it shot down. <laughs> and he went, Ugh! and it's gone <laughs> ping like that. Uh -huh. And he's walked in and gone, leave it. <laughs> Do you know what? Leave it. I work around it this, <laughs> but I've got loads on the caps. He went, leave it. <laughs> but there's loads up here as well. Leave it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I'm such a wee risk now that I'm pregnant. I can't laugh like that. <laughs> I feel like I've ruined no. your caps. No, leave it. I work with it. There's somewhere on the carpet. <laughs> Can I use your shower? No, it's part of the museum. <laughs> what? Hi. Is that a school? I think so, yeah. Uh, uh, you live in a lovely county. <laughs> Probably don't appreciate it at your age, but when you're an adult and you move back from London, you'll love it. <laughs> you'll spend 20 years in London, think it's the bee's knees, and you'll tire of it, and you'll come back here and you'll appreciate the space. Sure. For the first five years, you'll be thinking, wow, London's got everything. I could stay out all night and that'll wear off. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, hardly go into town. What's the point? My flat's tiny. How much I pay? And then you'll start right moving Suffolk and you'll go, for the same money, I can get a house with a moat, six bedrooms and outbuildings. And you'll go, bloody hell, hold on. If we, if we do those outbuildings up, we could Airbnb them where we don't have to work anymore. <laughs> and then you just won't do it. You just won't do it. <laughs> but anyway, have a nice day at school. I, 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 I think we were a bit disjointed as a team. We needed Catherine to tell us what to do, basically. Yeah. But you know what? Mm. It looked like you could build something, but you genuinely had to use gaffer tape and a bossy bitch. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you want to see how grumpy Joe got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did Joe not enjoy the tap? <laughs> We've uh, isolated they, Joe. They didn't have the right screws. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joe. This is going to be horseshit, isn't it? I cannot tell you how disappointed I am with this. Wait, this is nonsense, isn't it? It's, it's, some, it's some metal, some plastic Maybe and a cloth. Could, it could be, could be, be this could be horseshit. I'm really... I don't know if I'm sort of the only one who thinks this isn't anything. <laughs> it's... It's the, I think it's the core, the core idea that worries me. <laughs> We got Catherine fitting with ideas. I thought I just assumed when you it's played that first <laughs> clip that you cut out how genuinely pissed off Joe was. I got so angry. <laughs> the first second you said everything was horseshit. <laughs> I said that for about seven. <laughs> well, we met on the train up here. Um, <laughs> got got chatting. He's escaped from the uh, circus or something, and. Uh, <laughs> He's a big fan of the show, so he just sort of followed me here. Well, that, that's nice. No, no, he likes the proper show. He hates all this <laughs> shit. <laughs> so all right, so what happened? Why are your clothes all ripped to shreds? Well, we um, had a few cans on the way up here, and um, <laughs> you know how bears get when they're pissed up. <laughs> <laughs> and I made the mistake of taking a bite out of his chicken and mushroom slice. <laughs> 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 Mental. <laughs> the best way that I like to relax is uh, I've got a friend Chris who doesn't mind being kicked in the plums. <laughs> so I've brought him along and uh, to uh, Chris, do you mind coming out, mate? Rather? Just show him how. Oh, God, I feel so stressed. <laughs> God, pop your legs apart, big guy. Oh, God, it's been a long day. Sorry, what are you going to do? I'm just going to kick him in the plums. What do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I can feel it all coming off me. Oh, <laughs> oh that's good. <laughs> You've got a lovely technique. I mean, like, by the way, does anyone else want to go? Anyone in the crew is a bit pissed off with having to deal with Rachel? <laughs> yeah, go on then, have a go. Go on. Oh, no. Yeah, go on, give it. Oh, that's... <laughs> Go on, get stuck in, guys. Oh. Cute. 
absolutely. You can feel the stresses of the day. Just... <laughs> this is weird even for us. <laughs> just so worth it, isn't it? Don't try that at home, kids. Cheers, Chris. You can go now, mate. I'll see you. I'll pick you up in a &E. Sleep tonight. <sighs> He's coming out. <sighs> hey, Joe. Hi. Well done. Uh, if there's no one thing about this country that can, that can make a decent fireplace. Well, do you feel like it's been good for the romance in our relationship? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Worked through our stress as a couple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, if anything, it's brought us closer, closer together. I'll show you how. How much closer it's got, got oh, let's look at that. Look at that. that was, uh... Oh! That was round when I went in. Honestly. Ah. Oh, a trick! Wow! Unbelievable! This is the most cocky I've ever been. Yeah? Oh, and I, I made the horn go with a knob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe's wife. A <laughs> bit of bad news, Joe's fallen in love with a bike. <laughs> I mean, he really has. <gasps> They've gone to live in the forest together. Now, I will say, he's down to 79% charge, <laughs> so he will be back yeah, soon. Yeah, he'll, but... he'll be back Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tail between his legs. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> it meant nothing. It meant everything. <laughs> Highest self-supporting bridge wins. Highest. The bridge alone must support the potato. Uh, the bridge alone must support the pony. Does it definitely say pony? No. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be pony, wouldn't it? That is the laziest bit of reading I've seen all series. <laughs> <laughs> you got to the PO and thought, pony, right? <laughs> well, most people would have guessed pony. You don't yeah. have to guess. It's, it's... <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you've got a sort of inbuilt, broken, predictive text. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to admit, I jumped ahead. Since I'm already wet, I thought maybe you could just do the ice bath and I could watch. Thanks. Do you mind if I drop my trousers? Please do. There you go. Have you ever done an ice bath before? No. Ooh. Oh, mother of God! You oh. just have to lean into oh. it. And it gets better, Joe. Hold my hands. I'm, my junk will die. Yeah, I was just thinking of the testicles. Oh, oh, my cast, my large cast. Ah, Mama Cass! Who's Mama Cass? Ah, I don't know. Oh, the balls are in. Oh, I honestly feel like I'm dying. What does it feel like? I'm dying in a car park. What a bargain. Oh, I don't want bargains anymore. I can't care. I'm gonna, my heart stops twice. Right. Time for lunch, I think. Yep. There are many benefits to an ice bath, such as boosting your immune system and easing sore and aching muscles, as well as freezing your nuts into what feel like small pellets of granite. Worse, it's worse on the way out! Hold me! <laughs> Joe, what's, uh, what's going on? Uh, I'll be honest with you, Jimmy, I'm in a bit of a bad mood. <laughs> a bit pissed off, and this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why it happens, but it always does. Um, I drink quite a lot of uh, radioactive waste. <laughs> so, what, why are you in a bad mood? You taking a piss? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, mate. <laughs> you're in a bad mood because you fired me. That's why I ripped the door off your car. You're about to have your beer syruped. 
What does that mean? They put syrup in their beer. <laughs> Here, in Poland. That's what they do. Hebre, which is Hebrew slang for friends, has been transformed into one of the city's best backdrops for self-archiving. Joe, this used to be a house of prayer. Qua, qua. And now it's a boozer. Let's sit down. A lot of the original frescoes. The original what? Frescoes. Pictures. Frescoes. You mean pictures? No. Try taking that picture off the wall. Frescoes? Yeah. Hello. Dzień dobry. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, what, what do you do? Bivo sogium. Two raspberries, two ginger, and then two regular ones so that we can taste the difference between them. Are you ordering for me? I am. I love that about you. <laughs> Thank you. OK. You won't find a much better shot of someone syruping beer, nor this one of a bit of harmless hijinks. One, two, three, go. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Raspberry one. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. This is all the makings of a Chumbawamba song. Right, can we get this one out of the way? Uh, Ginger first. Yeah, cheers. To better times. It's all right. That's a good message to send out to kids, isn't it? By six. This, this could take a wrong turn. <sighs> it gets worse. Ginger. This is like a Christmas beer. Oh, I hate Christmas. They serve this hot in winter. What's wrong with them? If it hot, I'd smash the place up. Just to summarise, what's your favourite? Regular. Kind of beer you can get just, anywhere. Just a lovely beer. Second favourite? Raspberry. Raspberry. Third? Ginger. Gingers. <laughs> Make the best music video for a nursery rhyme. You have one hour and your time starts now. <laughs> Can't think of any nursery rhymes. You've got kids, come on. What do you sing to them? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah. Are you OK, Joe? Um, thinking, uh, you'll find you really distracting. Mm. <laughs> Here's Joe Wilkinson's. Oh, account. Joe, it's going to be shit, isn't it, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. With an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there, everywhere, an oink, oink. With a quack, quack here and a quack, quack there, everywhere, quack, quack. With a moo 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 here and a moo moo there, everywhere moo moo. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there, everywhere nay nay. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there, everywhere cluck cluck. With a bar bar here and a bar bar there, everywhere bar bar. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. I do it. I mean, <laughs> I found it genuinely annoying. <laughs> I did as well. <laughs> Why do you think I found that so annoying? Because he wasn't getting the song right, Greg. Correct, John. <laughs> Here an oink, there an oink. Everything Here a quack, right. there a quack. We didn't know where the oinks were, all the quacks. <laughs> <laughs> On that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with a... What, what song are you singing? <laughs> I've bought one in my collection of countdown um, indoor tropical water features. <laughs> so there's all of us on here having a nice time. Um, there's Sean. See Sean there? <laughs> um, he's having a lovely time shouting at Pigeon. Uh, John on holiday there. Um, <laughs> He's slightly more body conscious than Sean, uh, so he's wearing a T-shirt with no trousers and pants on, um, <laughs> and uh, that's the only one that's life size. Uh, <laughs> then um, here we've got me, Susie, and Rachel having a lovely time. <laughs> now, as you can see, Rachel's passed out on the back; she's been drinking all afternoon. And then uh, finally, we've got got Jimmy here, lounging. <laughs> Having a lovely time having a cocktail. Don't know why I'm so happy. Absolutely no genitals. <laughs> <laughs> and the best bit about it, my favourite bit, is it's uh, not actually water. It's uh, Campari and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Closer than ever, we reach our final stop. An actual apartment full of Soviet shears. 
first vodka and pickles. Thank you. Because it's going to be a bit of a brainwashing process going on, so alcohol helps with it. We watch your Love Island. Contemporary. Please. We simply can't wait to watch the 1951 propaganda classic Destination Nova Hooter. And what's more, we don't have to. I have massive hands, so this glass looks tiny. Mm. Mm. We've been there. We're actually getting quite into the vodka. <laughs> Me too. Now I'm retiring, and now I'm going to spend my days. Just drinking this in Peckham. Watching Eastern Bloc visuals. It's a lot of clapping, isn't there? In your head. Mm. <laughs> my cup's aching. This is the longest ten minutes of my life. Please, have pity for the people watching. Oh, it's over. Finished, finished. Yeah. How was it? Oh, it's really good. Are you That's convinced? It. You're yes. going to sign the papers, yes. Silvio yes. Bourgeoisie hell life behind you? Yes, yes. please. Yes. I absolutely I can't, can't bear the bourgeoisie. Yeah. How is vodka anyway? So strong. We are struggling to form sentences. Mm. <laughs> um, I made a robot with um, my half-brother Fabio. Fabio, do you want to bring it on, mate? <laughs> Very realistic. Yeah. Talk me through. Well, we uh, we got pissed up on Sunday afternoon, right. and uh, <laughs> found a soldering iron, and uh, we built that. <laughs> Comes with uh, some natty features, like it's uh, it's got a pocket with a naan bread in it. <laughs> like like robots, yeah. yeah. Like robots. Uh, it's do. got retractable salad servers. <laughs> <laughs> It's really troubling to watch. <laughs> Why is it so slow? And just above the buttocks, there's a, a fold down guess who board. <laughs> <laughs> As I say, we are. Uh, we were drinking quite heavily, so not a lot of it makes sense, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seems to be starting to smoke there, Joe. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it is a bit dog shit, isn't it? Um, <laughs> get rid of it, Fabio. Chuck it in the canal or something. Mate. <laughs> Place these three exercise balls on the yoga mat. On the top of that hill. That hill? The task is complete when all three balls sit fully inflated and stationary on the mat. Fastest wins. The time starts now. Up there. Are you serious? <laughs> ah, no. Ah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, Two minutes, Joe. What? You've had two minutes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no. No. No! to go back for the other ball. Yes, I saw that. There we go. Done. Done. Stop the front. Well, thank you, John. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you feel watching it back, but it... It occurs to me that my seven-year-old niece would have come up with a better plan than I'm going to hold two and kick one up. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked one of them, admittedly. I tried to carry two. I, but... I think I tried to kick all three. Yeah. <laughs>
Whenever he's not on countdown, you can catch Joe live in your local park asking passers by if he can walk their dog. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't say walk. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Uh, hello. If they made a film about your life, who would play you? Cool, how did they get the funding? <laughs> um... <laughs> no, I mean, that's the hard bit. Um... You remember the lady who put a cat in a bin? Remember <laughs> <laughs> her? She's got range. That'd be a great IMDb page. <laughs> cat in a bin video, and, biopic uh, of Joe Wilkinson. Bio, yeah. <laughs> and it'd be nice to keep it in the family. Uh, Hi. Hello there. Hello. Are you the, the mayor? I am. Like, for real, the mayor? The, for real, the, the real, mayor. real, real mayor. Yeah. Hi. Good to meet you. And you, and you. Nice to see you again. Nice to Hi, meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. You're very young for a mayor. Yes, yes, I am. What's CLLR? Councillor. Councillor. I'm Richard, how are you? Hi, Richard. Very nice to meet you, Peter. Peter. Nice to meet you too. Absolute pleasure to meet you. You're the mayor. I am indeed. Oh, goodness me. We look splendid. <laughs> as, um, as your day been, all right? Not bad at all. How's your day been? Shit. <laughs> it's an honour, I guess. I don't know if I've, I haven't met a mayor before of anywhere. So. Impress this mayor. You have a maximum of 20 minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> you have a maximum of 20 minutes. You're easily impressed, Peter. No. no. You really the mayor? I am absolutely 100% the mayor. Yeah. Oh. Um, I've got you, uh, I've got you something. I am, um, um, 42, 42 Calippos. Lovely. <laughs> eight pairs of strong lager. Fantastic. Is there any significance to a 42 Calippos? It's all they had. It's all they had. <laughs> <laughs> Calippo? Yeah, well, why not? Have you got anything else on the impressive scale apart from Calippos and beer? 15 quid. <laughs> That's all I've got there. <laughs> Bribing a politician, eh? Yeah, it's always worked, isn't it? <laughs> Good health. If I eat an onion, do we get 32 points? Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah, yes! <laughs> yeah, 100%, yeah. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. We're going to win, and we're going to get the unicorn. <laughs> I'll give you four. <laughs> I told you it was our time! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe, Joe, <laughs> your time starts now. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> hold your nose, hold your nose. Yeah, hold your nose. Hold your nose, it'll be like an <laughs> apple. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, quick. We've got quick. Just get it all in. Get it in. Shove it all in, then spit it out. Shove it all in, then spit it out. Shove it all in, then spit it out. Get it in, Joe. Joe. <laughs> 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 Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Fancy points? <laughs> I'm afraid you didn't finish, so no <laughs> points, but great fun. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're sweating so much. You back in your point. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> burn this place down, I've always. Oh, God. <laughs> I think the mistake was the onion you had before we came out. Oh, <laughs> oh God, but that was painful, and I'd go through bins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Joe, I'll give you one point. <laughs> Still oh. smell it from your mouth. <laughs> I mean, seriously, no. Genuinely. Have you never done that before? No, why would I do that before? You just seem like... <laughs>